Hi guys, it's May. We are talking about determination this month and how appropriate the last few weeks of school that we get to talk about determination and finishing strong and finishing well. Um, we're going to be looking in the book of Acts this week in chapter 3 and 4 and um, Peter and John are in Jerusalem talking to people about what they experienced in, in Jesus' death and resurrection. And they're at the gate, beautiful, and they run into a man who wants to be healed. And they tell him that um, to be healed, he needs Jesus. And the people in Jerusalem still are not real happy about people claiming that they know about Jesus or any of that. And so I want to read to you um, kind of Peter and John's response to, this, um, to the people in Jerusalem. This is in Acts chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. It says, And now, brethren, I know that you acted in ignorance, just as your rulers did also. But the things which God announced beho beforehand by the mouth of all the prophets, that as Christ would suffer, he has thus fulfilled. Therefore, repent and return so that your sins may be wiped away in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. I love this boldness and how awesome would it be for kids to grasp that boldness to tell people about Jesus, even if it's not the cool thing to do, even if um, they get some pushback from people around them. They're like, uh, no, I know Jesus and this is how it is. So um, that's where we are today. And the, the story continues into chapter 4, where um, Peter's, uh, uh, Peter and John are both talking to the rulers because they want to put them in jail because they healed a man. And um, they continue <laughs> to, to tell this over and over and over again. And um, they... I love Peter's boldness. There's so many times he gets in trouble for his boldness. <laughs> but here, I know God is using it. And he says, um, Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. When they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished and they took note and these men had been that these men had been with Jesus. So in our activities today in your kindergarten through second grade groups, we are um, looking at some mazes and I think mazes are a really good way for kids to relate to possibly a hard thing because sometimes you don't get it the first time. And so um, your first activity that you'll do with your small group, it, um, you have an instruction sheet, and the instruction sheet says to put one little tunnel on your paper plate. If you want to put one little tunnel on your paper plate, you're welcome to do that. It's just a piece of paper like this that I take down on the plate. Um, if you have an older group of kids, like second graders, and you want to challenge them a little bit more, tell them to put a couple things on their paper plate, and then each kid gets a bouncy ball that they'll get to take home with them. Their plate and their bouncy ball goes home with them. Um, you may want to put that in pockets at the end of the day. <laughs> but what they're supposed to do is take the plate, and I'm going to see if I can do this on camera, and try to roll the ball through their tunnels without losing the ball like I just did. Um, so. You know, a really good way to keep practicing and keep trying to do something over and over and over and over again. Um, because we all know that we tend to give up easily sometimes, and kids um, kids do too. So they'll, they'll do that in their small group time. And then your memory verse activity for the month, it, you'll have an exercise stretchy band. It's yellow. And um, you, can you can do this a, a couple different ways. One of the ways is they suggested that you try to get the kids to do push-ups. If you want to get your kids to do push-ups, or I know one of the leaders has tried to get their kids to do wall squats before, do whatever you think works for your small group. I think 
um, I think it's fun for the kids to, to try to show what they can do and what they can't do. Um, but if you want to use the exercise bands, what you're supposed to do is have one kid on one end and another kid on the other end. Take the exercise band and they're supposed to pull it and keep walking this apart from each other. You can't see my hands, but I'm pulling them aside. Um, until it feels like they can't go any further. And um, obviously we're showing determination in that. And our memory verse for the month is let us not become tired of doing good at the right time we will gather a crop if we don't give up um, and then your prayer activity today you'll have one of each of these cards a Peter a Peter card and a John card and um, you'll lay those out in front of everybody and see if the kids can um, review the Bible story with you today. There's a lot of content in it, um, but the videos always do such a good job of helping um, bring down the, the main points. And so see what you can get kids to re review with you. And then there's a prayer written in there. I'm looking forward to a great month together. Uh, remember, we're all in this determination thing together. We have a few more, a few weeks, and um, I think we can. I think we can make it, and then we get to enjoy a fun summer together. I'll talk to you guys soon.